All right, I'm gonna go over the stages of labor real quick. So they can be broken up into three, four, some people break them up into more, but I'm just gonna give them to you and let you decide which ones you think go together. So we have dilation and effacement. So your cervix will start to dilate. That'll be the contractions. It'll start to open up that cervix. With the effacement, the cervix will actually start to thin and allow more space for baby to come through. Then you will have active labor, and this is where you're really, really getting to that eight to 10 transition phase. You're dilating, um, you're trying to get up to that 10 centimeters so that you can push, and this is anywhere from seven to 14, I think is average. Everyone is different. Um, same with the pushing stage. Everyone is different. It could be three hours, it could be 12 hours, it can be whatever your baby wants it to be. So, well, your baby and your body. A lot of it, a lot of it is very specific to the person, your anatomy, there's all kinds of things. So, then you have the pushing stage. So, you're actively pushing the baby through the birth canal. And then you have the placental birth. So, you are going to be birthing the placenta after when the baby's out and some of this is also considered the recovery stage you've heard the placenta while the baby's on you you're holding baby for the first time you're nursing for the first time and this actually helps generate the oxytocin and other chemicals to help that placenta come through so after that you've delivered the placenta and then you are just resting and recovering and that is the best part you've got that hour after birth that golden hour where you just hold the baby and nurse for the first time and just really, really take in everything. So those are all the stages of labor.